And we, uh, this is a, a kind of a clergy segment uh, where we're uh, bringing on some of the, uh, the, the, the men who lead uh, parishes, uh, especially at um, uh, the, the, the parish nearby here, Good Shepherd in Colleyville. No, and Deacon Matt's going to stick with us. All right, you've got, two, you've got a double segment with you, so Deacon Matt's going to stay with us. Uh, loan officer at my mutual from Farmington, New, New Mexico, and also a deacon. And also, Deacon Pat Lavery uh, at, from Good Shepherd Parish. Deacon, how long have you been a deacon? And tell us about uh, kind of your role and uh, the, the, the deacon's role at a typical parish. Well, that's a big question. Today. And you got two but minutes, been, no? I got two minutes. <laughs> so let's speed this up. Um, I was ordained in 2009 and assigned to Good Shepherd by then Bishop Van, and have stayed there ever since. Um, I think what we need to focus on is vocations as far as whether it be the priesthood or the diaconate. Uh, we're all called at some point in time. The chief thing is to listen. And in my career, I had a successful career, and I always felt I was not giving back to God. Yeah. Well, after ending my one career and sitting under a tree, a good shepherd, I thought I heard God say, you can help here, hmm. and you can serve here. And through some courses that the, the diocese offered, that time John Paul II Institute, it really gives you the opportunity to quiet yourself, listen to God, and see if there's something he's calling you to do. But that's how I became interested and followed through on the diaconate. And the diaconate is one of service. And as I mentioned a moment ago to Deacon Matt, it's a, it's a balancing act because Sweet. deacons are often uh, like a priest where uh, they are uh, celibate and uh, in most cases and fully, fully, uh, you know, dedicated to the parish. You also have a family, uh, most, most deacons do, and kids yes. and a job, and so it's a, it's a real balancing act, isn't I'm it? I'm 53 years married. We have uh, two children, six grandchildren, and as of two months ago, a great-grandchild. Oh, wow, congratulations. So you, you do, but you'd be surprised how that balancing is very simple. Mm -hmm. God gives us the graces to just share, and that's the service side of it. You share your faith, you share your family, and the blessings come. 